Did I catch you correctly for openers, folks, that that was much uh, harder than it should have been? Well, I think so. The numbers say that. Like, if you look at our inside 50s, our shots on goal, our forward half turnovers, clearance differential, contested ball differential, that's as good as we've... Those numbers have been for us for a few weeks. So uh, the problem is it didn't show on the scoreboard, but that's that's an accuracy issue for tonight. It hasn't been an accuracy issue this season, but tonight it was. We we didn't start well when Joe missed from the, from the 10 metre square. Uh, I did say something to him as we're walking off, and he, he goes, oh, I haven't done that much in my career. I said, you should never have done it in your career at any stage. But anyway, we had a little bit of a laugh. I, I think the, the good thing is, though, that um, despite the fact that we made hard work for ourselves, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's 27 shots to 15, um, there were times when they came at us in the game and were able to respond, and that's the good part about it. We didn't let our inaccuracy in front of goal kill our confidence and the boys knew how to win so that was the good part about the game. Dealing with a bit of adversity I imagine, in adversity may be too strong a word, but just the, the setbacks mentally, I think that's good prep for what you're about to face in the next month? Uh, absolutely, yeah. I mean I, I think we've had a great five or six weeks of uh, challenging situations and you know outside of the Melbourne game which we lost by a point um, I think we've dealt with all those situations really well. We had a poor game against Gold Coast, they played very well, but you know, if you look at our, I don't know, are we nine and two the last eleven weeks, something like that? And one of those losses is a one point loss to Melbourne. So our form's strong. Um, even though we've been a bit scratchy with some of our wins, we've found a way. Um, barring some sort of miraculous set of circumstances with Port, like you've walked in the top two finish, like what do they have to do to? Well, you have to win by like two hundred points. Well, or something like that. <laughs> um, how, how important how important are those two home finals? Like, how much does it mean to especially knowing how good your record is up here? Yeah, it doesn't guarantee anything because we've played a few finals up here and had a couple of narrow losses by less than a goal. So, when the best play, play the best, I reckon the venue becomes uh, probably less of a factor. Uh, I think it's certainly an advantage, and the fact is, we don't have to travel for a few weeks, so that's helpful in itself because we're at the end of a long season where we've travelled 12 times. Uh, we, you know, we play, potentially play Victorian clubs who have travelled, you know, maybe five times in a season. So there, there's, a, there's a, you know, there's an energy factor to it all. There's no doubt about that. When you play a competition that goes for six or seven months um, and you have to travel a fair bit, it's, it's good to get a few weeks where you can... Uh, you know, get a, breathe, breathe a bit of air in and get some sore bodies um, fresher uh, and get ready to go again because a, a new season's now begun. You've never been shy about pumping up the home crowd, do you, folks? What sort of an element are they having? Oh, the, the hometown crowd, they, they've been fantastic for us. I mean, they get right behind the team. There's no doubt about that. So another sellout tonight, I think. So uh, I've done that five or six times this year that we've been able to do that. Um, there's no doubt that, you know, the people of Brisbane have got behind the team, so that's that's going to be a helpful factor as well. You know, hopefully they shout a little bit louder in the in the finals. It's probably Chris. hard to, know, it's probably hard to compare years, but does it feel like this year that you you set yourself up? <coughs> Link, Link's injured, obviously, but he sounds like he'll be due back. You're, you're in pretty good health. You've got this pretty good form at the moment. You feel like yeah. you've at least set yourself up. Yeah, other than the blokes that we've lost for the rest of the season, <coughs> you know, Will, it's a pity we haven't got Will Ashcroft. To, he could play in his first final series and. You know, Marcus Adams, it's those sorts of guys. But we we haven't had him all year, so that's you know, by the by. Um, uh, yeah, it was good to get out of tonight's game with a uh, clean bill of health. Um, Lincoln's injury is minor. Um, yeah, we're probably it's probably the best shape that we've been in. I think you know, last year we were win one, lose one, win one, lose one for. 10, 12 weeks coming into finals and you know, this year we've been much more consistent. I think that's a good thing for your players to know that mentally. Um, um, so, yeah, um, we, you know, if you, if you finish top two, you've had a good year. Um, there's no doubt about that. So uh, hopefully that gives us a lot of confidence and, um, you know, we can... We got better in finals last year. We want to build on that again this year. So, Chris, in saying that, is this in your time in the club... Is this the most confident you're feeling going going into a final series that you guys can win the flag? Um, 
Probably, yeah. Oh, because I, I look at it and I go, well, you know, back when we first started playing finals, that was Huey McCluggage's first final series, Jared Berry's first final series, Bailey, you know, Rayner, Stasevich, all those guys. They were young lads playing in big finals. Um, now we're four or five years down the track and they've had nine finals games, a lot of them, and that's got to hold them in good stead. has to. What about the other end of the spectrum, Dane Zorko? You must be thrilled with... Obviously, he's had a lot of problems with his body in the first half of the year, and his, his form the last few weeks has been back to yeah, some it's, of his best. It's been good, and his body's sound. Um, you know, he hadn't really had a run at it at all. I don't know how many he's played in a row now. I suspect it's six or seven games in a row. And you know, I think when he first started playing, he was pretty nervous that something else was going to happen. Um, hopefully, he doesn't feel that way now, and he can just back himself in to play his way. Um, so yeah, that is a real positive. Chris, uh, a few weeks ago after the Geelong game, we were lauding the defensive side of the game, which you said was a big focus over the off-season. Um, kept St Kilda, I think it was 15 inside 50s at half-time. Are you happy with where that's at heading into September? Or? Yeah, it's been probably a little bit inconsistent the last few weeks. Uh, obviously, we conceded 100 points last week. A couple of, couple of cheapies late. That was disappointing. I'd rather go in with 88 against the year than 100. But by and large, we've been good. I think our system is better. I think our players work together better now. Um, you know, our back line, the same seven or eight guys have played there for weeks. You know, this time last year, I think we'd had 14 or 15 blokes play through there in the last two months. So there's some continuity there um, and good understanding. It's going to get tested in the finals, but I think it's in better shape, yes. Chris, what about the Saints and their team that can be sort of a nuisance in the finals if they win a game and, you know... Top four team somewhere yeah, well, they're a hard team to play against, you know. Um, they work really hard um, and, uh, you know, they've got a good system. They get a lot of numbers back. It's hard to score against them. Um, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't want to be off your game too much. But they could get you. And their form's been terrific in the last, you know, uh, five or six weeks. And the way they started the year was good as well. So, yeah, I think they're, you know, they're a really improved team. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.